Hey, it's Ben here. And here in this video, I want to share a secret way that I use to create icons and graphics within Final Cut Pro using some of the tools that are built in on the Mac and also in Final Cut Pro. So first thing we're going to do here is come up to the top left. We are looking for our titles and generators. We are looking in the titles for the bumper and open the titles. So just a very basic title that we can add here. So we're going to drop this down to the timeline. And really what we're looking at doing here is creating some basic icons kind of wrapped in a circle within Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to just come up to my type up here at the top right. We're going to change this to a 2D style. We're going to use the, the bold style. And one of the key things with this is that we're looking for this O that is very much like a, a circle. So whether we're using the O um, in bold or in a light, it's a nice clean circle in the Avenir Next font and regular, bold, heavy, whatever you're wanting to use. And then the next step here is we're just going to increase the size of this font so we can really see what we're working on here. We're going to jump this right up and I'm going to drop down the opacity of my background here just so we can kind of see what we're doing here. So in the font itself, we'll reselect that. We're going to add a line break and what we want to do is kind of position an arrow within this circle or another graphic. So I'm going to hold down control, command and the space bar. And you can see I've got my arrows selected already. And I've also got my emojis in here, different objects and that type of thing. And essentially we can grab one of these arrows to start with. We'll grab the basic arrow and this is going to drop down. We'll move this up out of the way below our type here. We'll just minimize our emojis here. We're going to have a look at those again in a second. And the line spacing between these two is really high. So all we're going to do is drop down the line spacing and keep going with that until these two pieces of type overlap. So you can see here now, if we select that arrow, we can drop down the size of it. And we're going to keep these aligned to the center and then we can reselect both of those and we can keep working on that line spacing until that arrow fits nicely within that circle. So we'll just drop size that down a little bit more, select both of these, and then work on that line spacing again until that arrow sits nicely within them. Now, obviously we've got some different arrows in here. We could use something like the, the finger, delete arrow there, and we can obviously kind of pop any graphic that we want within that text. If we've got any fine tuning to do, we can modify the baseline shift of either of these objects. If we add a space either side of this finger, we can also select that line and then play with the tracking or the kerning and really get that positioning just right. So we can also select some different parts of this, come down to our color and we can modify the color of different elements too. So add a nice bright color and we can obviously change the color of both those lines as well. So we can start to really work on these graphics create some nice interest there. Now we can take this a step further as well. At the moment, we're kind of wrapping this circle around this icon. Let's bring down another basic title layer. And this time we're going to come in here and in place of our title, we're just going to search for a circle. We're going to grab this basic bullet point circle. So we'll double click on that and it will pop it in the middle there. We're going to increase the size of this nice and big. We'll leave this as white. And then if we go to the next line, we'll come in here again, and we've got some nice graphics of things like an iPhone. We can drop that in there, but we'll double click twice and we'll highlight this too. And I'll just drop the size of this down now. Now, the way that the layering of these two work is that if I highlight both of these now and work with my line spacing, then the iPhone will overlap a circle in the background. So we can create this nice graphic. Uh, we don't have to use a white background, obviously, um, but we can kind of map any graphic inside a circle or within a circle um, in this way. And obviously we can come up here, we can grab our color and change the color in here as well to kind of give that a nice look and feel. So if we grab both these lines now, we can increase the size, we're going to increase the size of both of them. And then obviously we'll need to refine that a little bit, refine the line spacing but we can really kind of work on some nice different graphics for these different elements within Final Cut Pro without using any extra plugins, any external applications. So we'll just change our line spacing down here and I'm hovering over the numbers here to really just fine tuning of the, the layering. Quite like the overlap there, but we'll just reduce the size of this a little bit so that it fits within there. And really we're just playing with the line spacing and getting things to, to kind of fit nicely in there. 
So we can move this around. We can center it. We can obviously use any animation elements on it as well. But yeah, just a nice, neat way of making these, these kind of graphic icons within Final Cut Pro where we don't have access to an external plugin or something like that. And we need to create these cool graphics for our edits, but we don't want to move into an external application like Photoshop or something. And lastly, I think we'll just combine these two. We will grab the circle with the arrow in it. I'm going to grab this other basic title. I'm going to grab the bullet point from here and we'll put this as the first line here. And if you remember how these overlap, then we can have these three lines and then we'll pick a color that will sit nice in the background. We'll pick something around this uh, nice orange here and then we can just scroll up. We'll increase the size of this circle in the background. And then we'll grab these two lines. So the line spacing works between the two lines. So we'll bring that up. And then we'll just need to select that second line and we can drop that circle in there nicely. Nice little graphic that sits on its own. Um, a little bit of working with those graphics to actually kind of make them layer up. I think I'm going to change this to a white circle in the middle. That's going to work quite nicely in there. And we'll wrap it up there. That's a real nice kind of overview of how we can create these graphics within Final Cut Pro. I hope this is useful. If you do have any questions, then please do leave a comment below.